Hi everybody, my name's Ed Morris, I'm Technical Manager for our Technic. Now before we get this video started, I just want you to do one thing and that is hit subscribe. Now once you've done that, you're gonna get notified of all the content that we upload into YouTube. That might be a product related video, training videos, fault finding, all the stuff that we load, all that content that we produce that's uploaded to YouTube, you'll be notified first. So make sure you hit subscribe. Now we're gonna do a slightly different video today. We're gonna to look at thermostatic mixing valves, but not in a way that we have before. Now we're coming to the summer shutdown now in places like education, where these buildings are going to be empty for a prolonged period of time. And what that means is these valves can now be cleaned out, they can be serviced, they can be checked. So what entails a service of a thermostatic mixing valve from our perspective? So first of all, what we need to check is what is the actual mixed outlet temperature. We've got a starting point to go from. So we run that hot tap, we measure the, the water temperature coming out there and we record it against what it was recorded at when it was first commissioned. So we can see how close we are, but we've got a starting point for the service. Now, once that's done, we need to start exposing the internal parts of the valve so we can make sure they're working as they should be. And that's pretty simple to do. It will probably still be in situ. You're not gonna take it out to do this. But what first what we'll do is remove our protection cap. That's gonna expose the head work of the valve. Simply get a spanner on the large nut on the top, unscrew it all the way take that out. Now we're going to start to expose the moving components or the working parts of the valve. Now the first one we've got here is the head work. You don't actually need to do any work to the head work so there's nothing on that needs doing so we put that to one side. Now these are the key components now that we need to make sure that are clean and freely moving when we're doing the service. So first of all we've got the thermostatic cartridge and the arbitrary. Now we need to make sure that that can move freely within the valve so it's always worth giving it a clean giving it a wipe around, making sure there's no debris in there, but also makes it's got a nice film of silicon, uh, silicon grease, which is a RAS approved grease to use within the valve. So that's the first part. Second part we have here, this is where the thermostatic cartridge sits, this is where the blending takes place. So again, we need to make sure that this is nice and clean and free of debris and able to move. The, the thermostatic cartridge will move inside of there, so make sure that's clean, free of debris and well lubricated. Move the spring, Inside the valve here, there's an O-ring. We need to make sure the O-ring is very clean. There's no uh, debris on there from inside the system, but also apply a nice, a nice helping of grease into that as well as silicon, approved, um, silicon grease that's RAS approved inside there because these components need to move. Now, the way that the valve works, as the hot and cold water comes in, it blends in the center. Thermostatic cartridge, it will, it will uh, adjust to that and it will move up and down to give us a safe working temperature. So make sure that the valve can move freely. And then simply in case, put it back together, the springs are already in there. Put there, we've got the uh, thermostatic element and flow cartridge that's in there. We can see, if we push that down, we can see it needs to be able to move freely. This one can move nice and freely. Then it's simply just a case of putting the headwork back together, screwing it back on, making sure that it's nice and safe, making sure it's nice and tight, lock it off, put your cap back on. Now what we need to do is run that temperature of the valve and make sure we've got back to the set point where we were before. And that's all that really is when it comes to the cleaning and the maintenance of this thermostatic mixing valve. It's not too difficult, but it's really important we do that to make sure the valve is still delivering a safe set temperature, but also we've needed in the valve safe conditions should the cold water be isolated, that valve will shut off and not deliver raw hot water with a scalding risk. Now, if you want any more information on this valve, IOMs, data sheets, but any of the other products in our Artenic range as well, please visit our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk where you'll find that information. Thank you for watching.